back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, we all know what I'm talking about today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my predictions for the TikToker versus YouTuber boxing match. I just have a lot to say about this. So, yes, I have been meaning to do this video. I wish I did it a week earlier, but just, I work a lot. Stuff comes up, and so that is why I'm doing it today. I needed to do this video. I had this video planned for like so long, and I just didn't get around to doing it. I couldn't, I got busy, stuff like that. So just bear with me. This is still going up before the fight, so it's still valid. But still, I just wish since the fight is so close, it's literally on Saturday, you guys. It's on Saturday. I'm filming this. The day I'm filming this, it's Tuesday. I have to film and edit this and upload this today and publish it, make it public tomorrow. So you guys are most likely seeing this on Wednesday, so happy Wednesday, everyone. I have to rush this video, get it up for you guys because I did not want to just skip over this video. I really have a lot to say about this and I'm so excited for the fight and so, yeah. So I'm gonna go through all the, the whole lineup, um, every fighter and who I think is gonna win. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe because you know, why not? You're already here. Let's go ahead and get on to today's video. Starting off with Ryan and Kale. By the way, if you guys are new or like, don't. I'm a very visual person, so I'm going to have them here on the screen. So yeah, Ryan and Kale. This one that for me is a no-brainer. I truly think Ryan is going to win <laughs> for several reasons. Just because Ryan is of like, you know, Ryan has fought before and the way Kale was reacting in the press conference was just like, bruh, like, I don't know. Like he said he hadn't started training. I feel like he wasn't taking it seriously. I know Ryan is definitely taking it seriously. So with that being said, I just know for a freaking fact that Ryan is going to win. So I don't know what Kale was talking about in the press conference. It just seemed like a joke to me. Honestly, if I'm being for real, it just seemed like a joke. It just seemed like, I don't know. I don't even know. So I'm gonna enter footage of that. I don't even know what the hell he was saying. So do you think you have a shot after seeing how good Ryan is of a boxer to beat Ryan Johnston? Yeah, give me a week and a half of training. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> a week and a half? Yeah, I'll probably start next week. It might take a week and a half to make a TikTok, but to get ready for a fight, it takes some time. But just because, of that and also physically just looking at them and also I know Ryan fights so with all that being said I am going for Ryan in this fight and I really am very positive that he's going to bring the win for that fight so if you have a different opinions or different predictions let me know I would love to hear it and your reasons why like I really want to talk to you guys in the comments about this so yeah I think Ryan's gonna win that fight no doubt about it so for Ryan versus Kale, I'm going for Ryan. Next is Landon and Ben. To be honest, I don't know that much about Ben. Um, he seems like a really nice guy. And Landon, I mean, he's nice too, but I feel like, and I don't want to bring anything up, but like I feel like right now Landon has a lot of anger built up in him, especially with everything going on in his personal life. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna bring that up just because it has nothing to do with like this fight and stuff But those of you who watch Landon or keep up with Landon, you guys know what's going on in his personal life So I feel like that is kind of building up and this is going to be his way to like release all that and like It's just like a whole bunch of anger and emotion. So I just really feel like You know, um, Ben, I think during the press conference he was saying like, oh, he just likes to try some new things like uh, He's a nice guy and I'm not like shaming him for being nice, but I just felt like Landon was more like talking smack and like all that stuff. I feel like he has more anger. I feel like Ben is just, you know, I'm just trying this for fun, y'all. So yeah, I'm going for Landon. I just truly like, especially considering the circumstances right now, I really think that he is going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and like, also, this is like nothing against the other person. I don't, you know, I don't hold resentment towards anybody, but I really think he's gonna get his ass beat by Landon. And I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. Um, I would love to see Ben win, obviously, but realistically, I think Landon is going to win. I would love to see Ben win, though, so. Next is Tanner and Ryland. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's going to be a fair fight. I think it's like, you know, I just, 
I don't know how to put it. So I've been watching Tanner for the longest time. I barely know who Rylan is. And again, no shade. Like, I'm just being honest. I don't. And for that, I really think Tanner is going to win just because I feel like Tanner is more athletic, active. Again, I don't even know Rylan, but that's just what I see. And I feel like Tanner is going to win. And I want Tanner to win. And I'm really confident that he is going to win. So next up is FaZe Jarvis and Michael. So... I don't know what it is and I don't want to throw shade I don't do I I don't know but I don't just like I've never watched anything phase Jarvis but he just like I don't know he just kind of gets on my nerves from what I have seen of him Michael seems like this really nice guy and I know Michael's training and stuff I know they're all training well maybe not kale week and a half of training yeah I really really want to see Michael win for this I want to see him win I wouldn't be surprised if face Jarvis one but I do really want to go for Michael and I'm going for Michael in this fight and I hope he wins and so yeah for that I'm going for Michael and who knows we've never seen these people like fight so oh love that we've never seen these people fight so maybe we are all going to be shocked with a lot of these fights and I hope that I am because like you know I don't I want to be surprised I don't want the fight to be so predictable is what I should say Next is DDG and Nate. So I was very conflicted with this one. I don't know. I really, really like Nate. I don't know that much about DDG, um, but I feel like he can really bring on a really good fight. Nate, again, I've never seen Nate fight. I was very conflicted on who to go for in this fight or who I think is going to win physically and stuff. So I have no idea. I feel like it might. this one might be like a very, very close fight, and I hope it is because I want to see them both you know I don't want to see an easy fight you know for any of these I don't want to see an easy fight I feel like this one's gonna be very like head-to-head -head and very competitive um I would love Nate to win really I love Nate I think he's a really good person from what I've seen he's a good like he's super talented I'm going for DDG but I would be very happy if Nate won but these are just my predictions and I'm trying to be like as realistic as possible. I don't know. Um, but like I said, I hope people bring something to the table that we've never seen before and we're all shook. I hope that it's like that, you know? With this one, I'm like not mad about who wins. I hope both of them, you know, do really good. But I'm realistically going for DDG, but I would be super happy if they won. <sighs> the next one, once again, I was very, oh. Once again, I was very conflicted. Very... It was hard for me to choose somebody for this next one. And that is Deji versus Vinny. Vinny, everyone loves Vinny. Literally everyone loves Vinny. He's like a heartthrob. Everyone loves him. Everyone's obsessed with him. Yada, 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 whatever. I would love to see Vinny win. I hope Vinny wins from the bottom of my heart. You know, deep down, I hope he wins. But I'm trying to make some realistic predictions here, you know? So I'm going for Deji just because physically, like on you know like it just makes sense in my head I would love for Vinny to surprise me though it breaks my heart that I'm going for Deji but I'm trying to think realistically rationally not because I think Vinny's cute you know or like people think he's cute so for that I am going for Deji and it breaks my heart to say that Vinny <laughs> I'm still conflicted and I want to go for Vinny as much as I do but like I'm gonna go for Deji but you know we've never seen what Vinny's got Next is Gib versus Taylor. To be honest, this one was a no-brainer for me. I have to go for Taylor just because I just have to go for Taylor. It just makes sense. I think physically he can really beat him. I think Taylor is going to beat the shit out of him. And again, this is like personal things aside. Like I, I don't think, I don't hate Gib. I don't think he's a bad person, but I just think he, is going to lose very badly in this fight. I think Taylor is going to win. It was a no-brainer for me, and I was not conflicted at all as, who, as to who I was choosing for this fight. And now, everyone wants to know if I think Austin is gonna win or Bryce. I feel very strongly about this. Here's the thing. Here's, literally, I'm gonna just lay it out. I just really dislike Austin McBroom. I think he's just a shitty person. I think... I'm not saying Bryce is the most perfect person either. I really don't. He's made his mistakes. But just like Bryce is 21, Austin is like 30. He should be way more mature than this. I think Austin is immature. I think he's just a bad person in general. 
I think he's a douche. I think he's just a loser. And so I really cannot wait for Bryce to beat his ass. I want him to beat his ass. I want to see Austin get his ass whooped and I want to see him embarrassed. Clearly, I am team Bryce. We team Bryce out here. Even the paparazzi's team Bryce, oh god. Uh, you know, we team Bryce out here. Right. <laughs> Even team the Bryce. paparazzi team Bryce, oh god. But for real, I am team Bryce out here. When I first heard about the fight, I knew 1000% I was team Bryce. I was team whoever Austin was fighting. I hate Austin. I think he's a shitty person. I want Bryce to be the shit out of him. I'm just like very, I feel very strongly about this. And I cannot wa wait to watch this fight. So, um, I even have my little outfit planned to watch the fight. And I'm going to show you guys the sweats. This will be my outfit for the fight. Um, it just says, fuck Austin McBum. Cause he is a bum. I used to watch the Ace Family and I could see Austin's true colors and when I started to see that I stopped watching them as soon as possible. I have a lot of things to say about that but I feel like that's just a completely different topic and I don't want to get into that and I don't want to like, I don't know. I just am team Bryce so all the way. I really want to see Austin get his ass kicked. I hope that's what I see. I'm really confident that that's what I'm going to see. And like I said, I don't think Bryce is the most perfect person either. He's not, but he's a lot younger. Austin already has kids, like grow the hell up. That's it, just like grow up. So I really hope that the fight goes in my favor and we shall see. Maybe I will make a post fight talking about the fight if you guys want that. I'm like talking about every fight because I will be watching every single fight closely. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see after the fight. Obviously have a little discussion. Those are my fight predictions. I wish I could go more in depth about Austin, but I feel like that is just not what I want this video to be. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys in my next video and we team Bryce out here.